There's a city of light where they come in. No night is a city of beauty untold. All my treasures up there in its beauty I'll share when I get to that city of gold. Oh Lord, when I leave it all, oh thank you Jesus. is not the most pleasant of time for us as family, but we trust in our God. And our God is a just God. Let us continue as we begin this service this morning. We sing a very familiar hymn. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise, just to know, just said the Lord. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know. Love, 
help us now to wait upon the with reference and solution. That as we hear words of eternal life, we may through comfort and of the scripture have hope in Jesus Christ. And be lifted above our darkness and distress into the light and peace and of the presence through Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for the life of our sister. We thank you, God, because we realize that you are a just God. He does all things well. We ask today that you would give us courage that as we move on, knowing that you are a God that does all things well, you are a comforter. You promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us. And as we come today, God, we present everything into your hand. We ask that you would strengthen us, bless us, guide us, and direct us. In Jesus' name. Thou was taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Say, the scripture reading lesson comes from the book of First Corinthians, chapter 15, 50 through 58. It will be read by the nephew of our deceased. Good old familiar. There will be a happy meeting in heaven, I know. Love one. 
comes to say, Oh, and that will be a glad reunion day. Amen. Glad day. Wonderful day. God thanks because we recognize his goodness our sister had lived a long and a good life we have seen years where many of her generation had never seen and because of that I give God thanks Amen. today our speaker of Williams, but just before he comes, Mr. Music will sing us a solo. Music, you ready?
that indeed is a joyful time where we can gather today and pay our last respect to someone that I knew all my life, someone that is dear to me, my family, my children, especially at the heart. I grow together and we have had a family life. Wow. We are pleased because God is still good. Mm -hmm. And so for this very short time, you can read it at your leisure time. The scripture will be taken from Job chapter 19, 25, 27. Jeremiah 20, 20, Jeremiah 29, 11, 14. I speak from the experience today on behalf of our dear mother here today. I speak to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We come here today not to mourn but to celebrate the life of Mother Leo. A life here on earth is over. A life in heaven with her beloved Savior Jesus Christ has just begun. We rejoice because she gave us so much during her life with us. And we praise God that her life of no pain, no concern, no doubts, and no lack of understanding has been begun, sorry, with our God, with her God in her new home. Everyone who is born into this world will also leave it, have to leave it. And for most people, their deepest incense and concern tell them that there is something beyond the grave. For each of us, a time is coming when we will step from this lifetime into eternity. Today, we come because our mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, family, members, and friends, friends have took that step. So many times in the last few days, my mind has recalled when what was so special about her, or Sister Pam, when my brother and I were young, we could not wait because of Sunday. Not only because of Sunday, we could not wait to get to Grandma's house because she always fixed breakfast for her children. And any given morning, you, you could find her sitting at the kitchen table with a cup of coffee and a, a daily crossword puzzle. During the summer, you would find us sitting near TV or radio, listening to the daily news and giving God praises with the gospel songs that was being played. You could not have find Sister Palmer at any time at any time, sitting idle, finding things to do that was of not any concern or help. Her time was when she respond. Sometimes you will hear her when she re, 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 re began to to answer back. You will hear her saying when people would say things that is not 
uh, she was not too sure about. She would ask, is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? Grandma was one of the godliest women I have ever seen in my life. Her church was not just a place to go on Sunday. It was a place to meet God and to find her place in Him. She loved her family, her friends, her church, and most of all, her God. Even as time began to catch up with her and slow her step down, Grandma never lose her kind and loving heart. Many people throughout her life call her tiny, but it, but to our family, she was a, and will always be a giant. It is time such as this that we feel that no one else have ever experienced the pain and loneliness that we felt. That's on that no one understand what we are going through. Although it is true that no one know exactly how we feel, others have experienced the same um, sort of experience of the loss of a loved one. The experience of one such person is recorded in the book, in the Bible, in the book of Job. Job had it all. He had 10 children, fields of livestock, an abundance of land, a house full of servants, and a substantial stock of cash. And then without warning, like an avalanche, yes, it's stuck. He lost all his livestock, his crop, his land, his servant, and if that, if you can't believe it, all ten of his children. So, therefore, soon, therefore, he lost the last human wish of hope. His health. He had an experience of his own. His own. And he had experience that the thing. But Job wrote of his experience and his suffering. But in the midst of all of his pain, he made a profound statement on faith and hope recorded in chapter 19, 25, 27. He said, I would, like, I would like to share just a word or two from this, if I may. Job wrote, for I know that my Redeemer lives, and he shall stand at the last day upon the earth. And after my skin is being destroyed, he asked, this I know, that in my flesh, I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes, hallelujah, shall behold, and not another, how my heart yearns within me. Notice with me, Job, certainty, like Job, even in our pain, there are some things that we can know that there will come a day, but Job cried out, my Redeemer lives. And today, my brothers and sisters assembled here today, Sister Leo, Sister Palmer knew 
that her Redeemer lives. And she knows that one day she will stand before him. Certainly, my friend, you and I will stand before him one day. But it's how we stand is so important. What we do here on earth is so important. But most of all, let us lay up our, oh my God, treasures into heaven. For there will come a day, my friend, when we will all stand before God. There will come a day when all of us will gather around the throne. And I want all of you to hear the words of God's mouth when he said, well done, good, faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things and make you ruler over many. I believe today, my friend, if my dear family, friend, mother was here today, I could have said today, she will say to all of us, prepare to meet your God. She will say to all of us, I wish we all be ready when he comes. My friend, the time of playing around, being mad, getting malice, keeping grudge, those days must be over because there is a day when we will all stand before God. May God bless you this morning. May his face shine upon you and be gracious on you. May he light up the light of his contents upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen. What an assurance that one have and they can say, I know that my Redeemer lives. At this time, our pastor emeritus, Brother Henry Kuba, will come now and pray for this family. Can you bow your heads? Let the Lord pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gathering and for your presence here among us. We thank you, Father God, for the 100 years of Mother Leo. Father, you've been good, better than good. In her time, she was fruitful and multiplied, and today, representation from our generation are here with grateful heart to say thank you, Lord. I pray today, Father God, that your continual protection, your peace, your comfort and strength will be upon them, that you'll be that missing piece that was taken away from them, I pray, God, that you will keep them in unity, peace, and love. And may all that generation come to know you in the saving grace of Jesus Christ and live in anticipation for that sweet fellowship and that glad reunion day when we all shall be gathered around the throne. Father, we give you praise today, God, that we know, God, that you promise never to leave us nor forsake us. And Father God, that our years on earth, oh God, would not have been in vain. But somewhere, somehow, God, she has told her children about the sweet love of God. And so, Father God, I pray, God, that they would dwell upon those things and live according to God as she has taught them. And that they would bind them around their necks, Father God, and teach them to their children and grandchildren to come. Father, we give you praise for your coming now. May you grant them peace, comfort, and joy, Father God, and may they be strengthened this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My friends. Whereas that has once more invaded our rank and removed from the walls of life our beloved sister, the old swan farmer, her soul have departed to dwell in that undiscovered country from whose bounds no travelers return. And now unto the mercy of Almighty God, we commit the spirit of our departed sister to the Creator, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, earth to earth, looking to that general resurrection at the last day, Who's, who die in the Lord shall be raised to eternal glory and an endless life of joy and peace with all 
through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we sing to him, City of Gold, those of you that have your last sprig of flowers, will do so now. There's a city of light. There's a city of light where there cometh no night. There's a city of beauty untold. All my treasures are this beauty I share. When I get to that city of gold, when I leave that Okay. 
on that cross a battle is waiting for the gain of man's soul or his loss. There's a line that's been drawn through the ages on the Yeah. 